Okay, boys. Continue. And we were asking questions of the dwarf. Harum, Harum, whatever his name was. Talk about your god, Grotus. You wish to learn about Grotus? Harem seems surprised and pleased at the same time. Yes, of course, I will answer anything you ask. What are Grotus's teachings about in a nutshell? Grotus is the end of all that exists. <clears throat> Look around, Jaru. What do you see? Look again and realize that everything will be destroyed. Our clothing and our armor will turn to dust. The walls of the palaces will crumble into ruins. The trees will fall and you will, and you and I will die much sooner than that. Grotus is a timeless watcher. He's been locked away by Pharosma, the goddess of rebirth, from her boneyard. He watches over the world. Sometimes referred to as purgatory as a neutral plane where the souls of dead mortals from the material plane are judged by the goddess Pharosma. Knowing the time for final reaping shall come, he's the bloated moon hanging in the sky. He's the heartbringer of the last days. He's the one who will stay when all others are gone. Pharosma has Grotus locked in her boneyard, so she's stronger than Grotus? Of course she is stronger for now. Grotus is weaker than Pharosma and many other gods. I would be a fool if I tried to claim otherwise. If Grotus were stronger, the end times would have already come, wouldn't they? Usually clerics can speak with their gods. What does Grotus say to you? What is his will? Grotus doesn't speak to his clerics, actually. Grotus doesn't need any clerics. He only allows his whispers to be heard and only by those who are dying to hear them. Thanks for telling me about Grotus. I've learned enough for now. His words are unclear, but they call to you. His voice comes with a soft rustle of fallen leaves, the woeful wailing uh, wind at the mountain pass with the roar of the raging blizzard, and it calls you to strike out the, on, the, on the road onwards, always onwards over the pass, <clears throat> over the bridge and further along up ahead where the edge of a gray robe flashed and a candle sputtered for the last time before dying onwards, always onwards, until your feet can no longer carry you. Thanks for telling me about Grotus. I've learned enough for now. Then let me ask you, what do you think about Grotus? Uh, there is an inner truth. It was interesting to learn about him, no more, no less. To be honest, I don't want to have anything to do with him. Uh, there is an inner truth. Her broad smile spreads across Harem's face. I'm glad you think like that. We'll bring this truth to the whole world and tell everyone that the end is inevitable. <laughs> well, I mean, he's right. It is inevitable, is it not? Well, I mean, 
mean, matter is never created or destroyed, so... Have you ever regretted your decision to abandon Torag and start worshiping Grotus instead? Your question might seem, seem offensive, Jaru, but I am not offended. I realize you ask it because you wish to learn more about Grotus. Torag betrayed me, Jaru. All he's ever done was look down with contempt upon my futile efforts to please him. I crafted armor plates, but they fell apart with a single strike of a fist. I smithed swords, but they broke at the hilt. Torog's priests used to say that such failures were the curse of their uncompromising deity. It was Grotus who opened my eyes. He showed me that failure is <clears throat> a manifestation of his will. The end time is near, Jaru, and every failure is just another step towards it. Torog's curse is only half the reason for my failure. The other half is the blessing of Grotus, which I have borne from early childhood. From what I've heard, Grotus doesn't spare the minds of his clerics. They all go insane eventually. Is that true? Ha, who told you that? I'd like to look at <clears throat> that slander in the eye. You see, Jaru, sanity is... <clears throat> <clears throat> you see, Jaru, sanity is quite a relative concept. Each of us is certain that he's the sanest creature in the world. Meanwhile, we periodically doubt the sanity of others. So what happens if two or three people claim that someone else is insane? Does that make it true? Perhaps the accusers have lost their minds themselves. See, this man is very philosophical. It seems like Grotus' uh, followers are very philosophical. I don't know how else to, how else to put it. I mean, it reminds me of uh, meditation in the real world. I don't know, like... Knowing that there's a presence, uh, I don't know, and that the end is inevitable. Uh, you know, it, it just reminds me of certain teachings in our real world, I guess. You know, I guess all fantasy games uh, derive things from the real world, though. The longer a cleric listens to the whispers of Grotus, the better he comprehends the essence of his designs, and the deeper his understanding becomes. When enlightenment comes, the mind of a cleric ascends to a new level of understanding, which is inaccessible to simpler souls. Is it insanity? This is for you to decide, Jaru. My decision was made long ago. When I reach enlightenment, I'll accept it with joy and delight. So they're talking about enlightenment. So you, you think of uh, Buddhism, um, stuff like that. I mean, it reminds me of that kind of stuff. I'm not lawful good. I'm not lawful evil. Ha! Well, when you learn Grotus, Grotus' divine plans, remember to tell me about them. I could use a good laugh. Ah. Oh, of course, I will tell you. I will tell everyone. The word of Grotus will lead us forward unto the inevitable. <clears throat> Aram does not hear the irony in your words. Thanks for the conversation. We'll talk later. Okay. Our time has come. What about Bakken? Bakken puts his hands on his hips. Ha! Old Bakken still knows a few tricks to impress these blood-sucking dummies. Enough hiding in the damn bushes, I say. Can I help you in any way? Bakken glances at you, suddenly interested. Well, since you're asking, there's a cave nearby. I used to pick berries in there, but the place has been overrun by spiders. The berries are red, look a lot like raspberries. Fang berries, I call them. I'd be real grateful if you gathered a basket of them and brought them back. Just be quick if you do. They spoil quickly. Fangberry Cave has been revealed. <clears throat> Those spiders in the cave are mean. Here, let me give you some alchemical fire crafted in myself. Burn those spiders to a crisp. That will teach them for taking over my Fangberry Cave. <clears throat> I also need a bucket of moon radishes. They're a rare and mysterious plant. <sighs> They're a rare and mysterious plant. I don't know where to find them, but I know that kobolds gather them and value them highly. It's not a huge deal, really. I'd do it myself if I were younger, but if you're willing, I'll pay you. 
three potions for the berries, and a purse full of coins for the radishes. For the <laughs> radishes. Why do you need fang berries and moon radishes, Bakken? You want to know, huh? Well, I'll gladly tell you after you bring some to me. All right, I'll try to help. <clears throat> Just watch out, all right? Don't end up someone's lunch. Uh, remind me what you do here. I should. Nah, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read every single thing, probably. Yeah, I mean, I, I must. <clears throat> Guess I could go. What's there, to, what's there to tell? I'm an herbalist. Make potions and sell them. Gather herbs, roots, berries, Bakken size. I live in the forest, live off the land. <clears throat> Since leaving Ristov for these parts, I ended up a merchant here at Oleg and Svetlana's post. They let me out of kindness. Oh, he's already fucking told me this. Show me what you have. Well, I'm not going to buy any potions or anything right now. I just want to continue the campaign. I should have redone how my character looks. When I was creating my character, I didn't, I didn't think to redo his uh, appearance. It's okay, though. It's all right, I'm not too worried about it. <clears throat> What's over here? I already went up there early. Let's go back in here. Talk to um, an real eight eyes. The elf looks straight at you through the tangled hair falling over her face. Hey, you're an adventurer, right? Seeking your fortune in the stolen lands? You aren't the only one of your kind here. Take my advice keep your eyes open and watch your back. Sometimes the ones who call themselves your friends are more dangerous than your enemies. Judging by the elf's voice, it's obvious that she started the day with a jug of wine. Who are you? Oh, my lord. I'm trying to read out loud, but I'll be honest with you, I really don't enjoy doing it. But, nonetheless. A Noriel Eight Eyes. Once upon a time, I was famous throughout Absalom. A Noriel Eight Eyes of the Reckless Six. Well... Glory passes quickly. A few miserable decades later, and no one recognizes you on the street anymore. What a shame. Absalom, for more than 4,000 years, Absalom has, Absalom has been the center at the center, the city at the center of the world, a metropolis-sized showcase of the greatest treasures in all Glorian. What are you doing here? I sit here waiting for adventurers who are in need of help. We may be sitting here in a backwards tavern, but in Absalom, I have a lot of friends who are eager to make a few coins. They have, a, they have brave hearts, but shallow pockets. A little gold would, would, be welcome, would be a welcome change for them. I can send them a message, and they will come from Absalom through a portal. If you're interested, just give me a sign, and we'll arrange everything right away. So I'm guessing you can equip, or I'm guessing you can recruit, rather, party members through her. Also, I can summon the tutors from the Pathfinder Society who can retrain you and your companions. They're quite willing to do, to do this for free the first three times you request their services. After that, the price for retraining will gradually increase. Such is their way of doing business with all new clients. The Pathfinder Society is a globe-spanning organization based out of 
Absalom. The membership consists primarily of pathfinders, adventurers who travel throughout Glorian. Okay. So they explore, delve, and otherwise experience the lesser seen parts of the world. So I'm not going to read through all this. Here's would you like to join me. Why are you called Eight Eyes? Once long ago, I could spot an enemy and pin him to the wall before he could even think of attacking. Some said I had Eight Eyes and looked all around at once. Though it seems I've outlived my nickname, Honorial stretches her arm forward, her palm trembles noticeably. I've been drinking so much lately, it's best I don't test my skills too often. I'll bet you can't recruit her. Where were you when the trading post was attacked? I was hunting, got a little lost in the mist, which is the first time that's happened to me. I guess I should go easier on the drink, but I don't imagine... <clears throat> but you... but... <clears throat> But don't you imagine I'd be scared of a good fight? If only I'd known I was missing all the action, but I see you've got everything under control. A famous pathfinder here in the middle of nowhere, why? You want to know how one could exchange the life of a pathfinder for this sorry drunken rat hole? The light in Honorial's eyes goes out as if someone had blown out a candle. You lose all your friends because of one scumbag, and then you'll understand. I was the only one to return from the final campaign of the Reckless Six. And whatever is left of me can't be called a seeker anymore. So she probably won't join us. Here's the story. Our leader, Vermelt, was the best of us. Wise, brave, friends with everyone. One of those friends, a Divian... Edressant sent him a disturbing letter. He stumbled upon mention of some ancient... Let's see, one of those friends sent him a disturbing letter, okay? He had, st <clears throat> he had stumbled upon mention of some ancient books on the art of necromancy. Secrets like those are, be are best left hidden forever. Trust me, I've seen what that kind of magic can do. The elf bites her lip. To make a long story short, these volumes were supposedly hidden in the catacombs of Gellespire. We decided that the books should be retrieved and kept safe by the society, which is the Pathfinder Society. I like how there's little links here. We gathered in a tavern, discussed the expedition, and then proceeded to Ustalov. The immortal principality of Ustalov is a fog-shrouded nation of countless horrors and a once-proud realm that suffered under the clawed hands of the Whispering Tyrant for centuries. Okay, so they're going there for a quest. It was a normal mission, a quick and quiet recovery. But everything turned out to be much more complicated. We barely made it through the Witch Gate Forest. All those terrible living trees, undead druids, and their arches of bone. It was a miracle we managed to make it out alive. We had chosen Wren Church to stop at. It was marked on Vermelt's map as a safe enough haven to hole up in, hole up in and lick our wounds. How I wish that had been true. Vermelt was the first to perish. He was attacked by one of the monsters hiding in the stables. It tossed him like a feather and threw him down an ancient well. His shout echoed for a long time, and I didn't hear the sound of him landing. And then... So it doesn't say what kind of monster attacked him. Enough, I shouldn't have gotten into this. Who am I to stir up others' feelings with all my chatter? We'd better forget about it for now. Maybe I'll tell you some other time, but not today. No. Oh. Regarding your story. Reminds me how the last campaign of the Reckless Six began. What happened to Rin Church? I have no wish to fill your sleep with nightmares. When you can prove that you can stand firm in battle, then <clears throat> that, sh 
that you can achieve victory without losing yourself along the way, then I will tell you of the horrors that awaited us in Rin Church. Oh, that, that says remind me. Okay, no, no, no. Would you like to join me? Uh, no, I've got enough things to do already. You'd better manage on your own. Okay. I need loyal and experienced fighters. I have friends like that. Just decide who exactly you need and they will come on my signal. This will cost you 2,000 gold pieces. I don't have enough money right now. Okay. Let's talk to NZ. Just a moment, how should I put this? Oh, I know, oh hi, tell me about yourself. What do you want to know, where are you from? I'm from all over, haha, I was actually born in Galt, such a tiny village that it's not even on the maps. If it weren't for my teacher, I'd still be living there, milking goats, weeding turnips, swilling homebrew, having babies and using books only as kindling. A nation of free thinkers and radicals, Renowned for brilliant poets, artists, and philosophers whose ideas shaped the politics of the whole of Avestan. Who's your teacher? He's a true saint. He was once an important person in the capital at the church of Shellen, but he got in trouble with the authorities and went on a self-imposed exile. To the tiniest, most godforsaken, priestless village he could find, the one where I was born. He wanted to open a school, but the villager, but the villagers wouldn't let him. You can heal us all you like, but no putting any ideas into our children's heads. It will only distract them from their work. But he did teach me on the sly. He taught me how to read, how to write, and gave, and he gave me books, poems, legends. He was the one who told me about the Arch Knights of Avestan. And when I told him I was going on a journey, he gave a magic ring so that Shillin would protect me from no harm. From harm. Avestan is a continent on the world of Galarian, one of the most heavily settled areas on the planet. Rivoy, River Kingdoms, Numeria, and the Stone Lands are all situated on Avestan. Okay. Hmm, I haven't seen him since I ran away from home. I hope he's alright. I ask Shillin every day to grant him a long life and new students. Arch Knights of Abaston, who are they? Oh, you haven't heard of them? How can you be a hero without knowing one of the most epic stories of the history of stories? In the history of stories. They know I won't spoil anything. You should read about them yourself. Every single chapter of their adventures are what gave me the idea on going on a heroic quest and writing about it to begin with, and now look at me, here I am on a heroic quest. How did you become a bard? When I realized that, when I realized there was nothing for me at home besides a more radish pass. <laughs> when I realized that there was nothing at home. Well, there's nothing for me at home besides more radish patches. I decided to run away. A traveling book peddler, Tessie the Quill, happened across our village. Well, I stuck to her like a burr and wouldn't let go until she agreed to take me as an apprentice. Together we traveled everywhere to Bravoy and Taldor and even Ustalov. And then I found out about the Academy of Grand Arts in Pitax. <clears throat> The mighty empire of Taldor once stretched from the Arcadian Ocean to the border of the Padisha Empire of Kelish. Arodin himself said to walk among the people of Taldor and his religion, a shining beacon, beacon and to the world radiated outward from Taldor's gilded capital of Apara. I'm not reading the rest of that. And then I found out about the Academy of Grand Arts. While not as popular, while not as popular, as some of the great bardic schools of the inner sea, Pitax's Academy of Grand Arts still manages to attract some students seeking greater specialization. And I thought, well, I love reading 
these stories so I can surely learn to write them too. I enrolled on my first try and they even gave me a scholarship. Then they expelled me. Haha, ha, but that's okay. They had already taught me all the important stuff and now with Shellen's help I can manage my own. Do you worship Shellen? <clears throat> yes, not to offend the other gods, but she's the most important of them all. All the other gods uh, guard the world as it is, but only the eternal rose, the goddess of beauty, calls us to the world as it should be. Why are your clothes so messy? Forget it. I can't waste money on looks. I'd rather buy books instead. In a hundred, in, in a hundred years... Yeah, that's basically... That's basically what this is. In a hundred years, when people are reading my works, they aren't going to ask whether the author had holes in her sleeves. This is based off the uh, Pathfinder role-playing game, which is based off uh, Dungeons & Dragons. Eh. I'm trying to read all this stuff, dude, but... A lot of reading. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> you come from Pitax, right? Tell me about it. Oh, I love Pitax, even though they kicked me out of a joyful place. What is life in Pitax like? Actually, Pitax has always been one huge nest of thieves, bandits, river pirates, smugglers, fences. Car sharps, it's always been home for the likes of them, but that was before. Irovetti became king with him. <coughs> with him, a whole different life began there. I had to reset my uh, cognition. Oh my god. Irovetti always wanted to make history, but not as another bandit with a crown. Though that exactly what though that's exactly what he is, ha ha. He wanted to be glorified through the centuries as a great patron of the arts. So he built the Academy of Grand Arts and spent lots of gold to assemble the best artists, poets, and musicians. Of course, the very best ones refused to go, but he got what he wanted in a way. If Pitax was once just a booze barn for thieves, now it is a cabaret. Mm, cabaret. Not cabaret, cabaret. Cabaret is the uh, pronunciation. What do you know of King Iravetay? Uh, he won his crown in a game of cards, which says as much about Pitax as it does about him. He's fiendishly clever. Some cheats I know told me that from the moment he appeared, he started to pulling off such schemes that the old city masters just scratched their heads. With him in charge, gold flooded into Pitax, and also, he's incredibly, unimaginably, fantastically decadent and conceited. Getting drunk with whores at the pub, that's not Lord Irovetti's style. Oh no, he aims higher, dressing up like a male Calistria with a golden codpiece and holding a three-week orgy. <laughs> with dancing on the rooftops, parades, and public executions, and a contest for the best oh to the great unrivaled king. That's more like it. Okay, I've already read about her. He also likes singing Ugh, and he orders his guards to make the citizens gather for his shows. May Shillin have mercy on his listeners. Tell me about the, the academy you studied at here. You know, jokes aside, I'm thankful to Irovetti for building it, but he has no taste at all whatsoever. He likes his art loud, bright, grandiose, and most importantly, glorifyingly, and most importantly, glorifying his royal highness. He kicked out the best charcoal artist because he didn't wish to spend money on gray scribbles. He sacked a masterful flute player from Tian Zia for playing too quietly and instead ordered them to open a kettle drum class. He even he even ordered the academy to expel me and for what an innocent limerick. Hmm. 
Would you like to go back to the academy and finish your studies? I'd like to return, but on one condition. If they threw out three quarters of the professors who teach there now and returned all the ones they banished? If you ask me, I'm proud to have been expelled. If my art was to Irovetti's liking, then I would have reason to be ashamed. Let me ask you something else. Tell me about that book you're writing. Oh my. God, there's a lot of stuff in here. Well, I'm not going to read all this out loud. I'm just going to, if you want to read, just read it. I'm going to skip a lot of this. Multifaceted character, full of inconsistencies, yada, yada, yada. No offense, but your command of language is not that good. The truth doesn't hurt me, and then we can print a second edition, revise and correct it. For brevity, I think I'll just read the first and last of just about every sentence, or, or every. The truth doesn't hurt me. And if I put my foot in my mouth here and there, then we can print a second edition, revise and correct it. How do you feel about me reading your work in progress? Well, these are only drafts. I won't change a single letter, so don't even ask. Right, whatever you wish, I doubt you would defame me, or for that matter, over praise. Got it good. Uh, I have no interest in censorship. Any stories about me are welcome as long as they are interesting. I'll take out of neutral. Let me ask you about something else. What about your friendship with Tessie the Quill? What's there to say? But it was only thanks to Tessie that I managed to really get out of my village. Okay. What's the deal with the ring you always wear on your finger? Imbued by the powers of Shillin. Gotcha. Leave and do not return. I do not ever want to see you again. No, I have to go. Just don't leave without me, of course. I could just write whatever you tell me, but if I wanted to stay cooped up... In a dusty room, I'd still be sleeping with the lectures at the Academy, I guess. Okay. Is anyone else up here? No. Forwards. Where's everybody else? Mary's right there. Didn't see her. I already talked to her there, didn't I? I'm gonna try to be brief, uh, and if any, I'm gonna try to be brief with the text from now on. And if anyone wants to read the text, feel free. Yeah. But for brevity's sake, and for the fact that I'm terrible at reading out loud, I will relax it. So there's the going forward, and there's the. Fangberry Caves. We'll go down this way, I guess. Let's keep going towards the cave. 
There is someone on the road. Get ready. but that won't help with the fog. What are you doing here? I do nothing. Breathe, walk, observe. The fog looks invisible. The fog looks visible enough to me. I see more than ever. I've never seen so much more, but someone must look and no one else can. Invisible fog, does that mean you can find your way through it? The fog is wrong. It hinders your legs, not your sight. I wish not to try. I don't have time to listen to an old fool's nonsense. Be gone. I should probably go. Okay, be gone. Old dog barks loud while cunning one readies to bite. Cunning short but stubborn. He is now in an ancient tomb that lies south of the trading post, searching for the great power that once it gave joy and now brings only death. You don't want my nonsense? Then you'll hear sobs and screams. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Once stolen, the land should be reclaimed. Once reclaimed, bound with the claimer shall it be. Bound, merged, joined by unbreakable ties. Claiming the land, claiming its pain, claiming its death. Ancient tomb has been revealed. Gain 45 experience. Thank you. Me with Tartuccio. That's already happened? Tartuccio, our leader's ignoble rival, is searching a nearby tomb for a certain ominous artifact. Let's go there and intervene. Okay, sure. Cave, sure. I will not falter. Like a charge. Tear them apart. Your life ebbs low. Serves you right.
Смотри. Could have used alchemical fire, I guess. Yeah, I could have used alchemical fire. I didn't think about that. Where is the alchemical fire? Fill her up with potions. Some potions on him. Just throw on the front line. Couple on her. And then a shovel on him. I thought I had our chemical fire. Oh. Yeah, I'll put those on her. Okay. Now we can try. What a waste. What am I doing? Uh, Chemical fire there, and then I'll throw one here. Bring 
it. So basically, smaller enemies can gather into swarms. So. Just letting the ink dry. I'm so done with us. waiting. Oh, sorry. Lost in hope. I will see this through. Together we stand. Anything is possible. Running won't help you. Any last wishes? <laughs> as one. Touch of chaos. No, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. God damn it. Stand with me. Become as dust. This is where I step in. Tear them apart! <laughs> Survive. 
I always survive. This is where I step in. The fuck? Set up. I got my ass kicked. Yeah, you're definitely right. Yeah, I fucked that up hard. This is a blind playthrough, so I don't know what the hell I'm doing. You know, I figured, you know, it makes sense, though, that a Frost Blast should be able to... You know, it makes real-world sense if you fucking fire a, a Frost Bolt, it should be able to take out some of the Swarm, right? That actually makes real-world sense. Yeah, and I also used um, I also used burning hands on him, and it still didn't work. That's kind of weird. Okay, I guess I learned my lesson. <laughs> Tear them apart. Who will prevail? Does it matter? John from the get go. That was that was my bad. We shall overcome. save more often, I think, in case something weird like that happens again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, uh, that's what I should have done earlier, man. I wasn't even thinking about it. Yeah, especially in Baldur's Gate, right? I mean, you can get one hit just fucking splattered on Baldur's Gate. Literally fucking disintegrated in one hit. So I got really used to saving on Baldur's Gate a lot. I 
I just wasn't th I just wasn't thinking this place would be that bad, but I guess those swarms fucked me up. Let me try something real quick. So another thing about this game is you can set auto spells, which I really like that, that you can automatically cast. I've got it set to Ray of Frost, because cantrips in Pathfinder, you can cast an, an unlimited amount. I wrote it like I saw it. Pathfinder's kind of uh, d derived from D&D, so. Touch of Chaos, you can imbue a target with Chaos as a melee touch attack. For the next round, any time the target rolls a 20, they must roll twice and take the less favorable result. I think I'd just rather get hit. Oh, this is like a... a, a this is a burst heal. All, tar, all creatures within a 30-foot burst centered on caster. I could also heal um, an enemy too, though. I think I'll use this. Oh yeah, and obviously clerics can replace some of their spells with cure light wounds. So. You have to rest. And I don't think you can rest. There's a lot of places you can't rest. It, it does limit you on where you can rest. Ah, won't work. Dude, I didn't realize this. Look, a myriad lore nature check failed. Wow. So we failed to save and took damage. Who's got the most nature? I think it automatically uses your person with the highest save. Forget it. Son of a bitch! That was easy. I just got it. Barry's fucked me up. What troubles you? Your alignment changes as you go, and... Dude, I should have read this through the first time. Some small-sized enemies, such as rats, spiders, or mandragoras, can gather into swarms and act as a single entity. Such enemies can be extremely dangerous. They cannot be defeated with simple weapons. However, they are vulnerable to acid and alchemical fires. Spells with an area of effect or spells that require an attack roll such as Acid Splash. As a last resort, you can also try to use torches. So torches also work. So there is a use for torches. I really like the character models in this game. It's pretty cool. Do I have torches? I think I sold all my torches. That's fine. I've got the alchemical fire, though. So I'll put a couple on her. I'll put a couple. 
couple on him. Matter of fact, I'll put the four on now. I'll put I'll put more on her. This is an acid flask. I'll put a couple of those on him. But yeah, it seems like a lot of your dialogue choices make a bearing on the game. That's why I'm trying not to spoil myself. Let's see if one of these is enough. I stand ready. Let's see. Oh, Acid Splash. Okay, that's one of my cantrips. I am prepared to make my end. I missed. Again, holy shit. Any last wishes? <laughs> Save. Well, at least this game does have some challenge, I guess. Either that, I'm, or I'm just anything is possible. Terrible, which I guess is probably the case. Let's loot this as we did earlier. Treat. Your life ebbs low. I guess those two can attack you. Could be worse. And will be. Definitely will be.
Another swarm? The fuck? Slow this back, dude. God damn. That's crazy. do is lead everything here. Mm -hmm. The end draws near. Serves you right. Who will prevail doesn't matter. Repent. Your life ebbs low. Leave the other ones in here. Isn't there another swarm up here? Could be worse, and will be definitely will be. Swarms in that don't make any sense. Hmm, that's weird. That time there was only one swarm. Makes no sense.
Come on. Damn, I keep missing with Ashes. Keep missing with that shit. God, this game is not terrible with this game, dude. What the fuck? Really? Damn. We're just fucking going. We're just going. We shall overcome. Attack. We're like the swarms layer. I'll get all the swarms together. You know, 
the swarm accidentally. Could be worse. And will be. Definitely will be. This loss won't kill me! Lost. Wow, then they come out afterwards. I'll be honest with you, I'm not really good at this game as you can tell, but son of a bitch. Get my ass handed to me. Just keep throwing these acid swarms, boys. Just keep fucking throwing them. Bye. I might actually just fucking skip this. I'll be honest with you. I think I might just fucking skip that bar, dude. Cause I, I, I let's just fucking move on. I mean, there's fucking no way. Can I rest? That's what I'm. Okay, I can camp in here. Okay, that makes sense. Forwards. Adventures call to them. Serves you right. 
Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Let's pull these guys all the way back. I can buy more alchemical fire if I have to. Let's get the fuck out of here. So I killed that group. Let's just cheese this shit. some more of those. We're, I guess we I guess we fucking need a lot more of those. I make a uh, little bit over 55,000. And my bonus this year was of course, it's COVID, so it's going to be a good bonus. About 17 grand. I think I'm going to make fucking camp, dude. What troubles you? Just letting the ink dry. Yeah, dude, I fucking suck at this game. Holy shit. I didn't realize how bad I sucked at this. I suck balls at this shit. Yeah, my bonus is pretty big. It'll be taxed. It'll be taxed off the fucking asshole, though. Ah, eh, well, who gives a shit? Ah, eh, fuck it, I guess we'll camp. Where's the fucking... Should I redo my spells first? nice where I live is, is really cheap so it's not too too bad yeah 31 an hour is pretty nice it's actually really nice again. Do 
Dude, I guess I'll fucking know next time to have more of these fucking flasks with me. Damn. I should have just... You can buy them. You can buy them at the previous place. I should have just bought a shit ton of them is what I should have done. What a waste. And then our leader charged forwards. Uh, hey, wait for me. <laughs> Ah, damn it. They go down. Become as dust. Ouch. Go ahead, dude. I'm about to kill this wolf piece of shit. The thing is, like... The thing is, like, okay. Yeah, I don't like people either, dude. I hate people. Uh, no, not really, dude. I gotta get to work in two or three hours. Uh, I have more trouble sleeping than staying awake. Dude, this area was optional. This whole area right here was optional. Holy shit. I just got my ass handed to me for like a fucking couple gold worth of fucking items. Holy mother... No, 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 no. The double axe is a plus one. That's pretty good. That is pretty cool. Just got my ass handed to me though, dude. Holy shit, I got my ass handed to me. Yes. And Lindsay was called for. Esme, access. Yes, yes. Patience. Magritio, Turinos. I guess in the middle of the night it is kind of rough staying awake, but uh, it's not like I do a lot of manual work anyway. I don't really do anything really hard. I basically make money for doing almost fucking nothing, pretty much. My job is extremely fucking easy. Extremely fucking easy. But just being there is a pain in the ass. I guess we'll get back to the map. That was terribly embarrassing. How about I got my butt kicked? That was very fucking embarrassing. I guess I've learned about swarms. I'll travel back there. Your 
<laughs> I'll be honest with you, Duke boys. The most depressing thing that a, that could ever enter the realm of, of uh, the most depressing thing, in my opinion, the, the literally the most fucking depressing thing is when daylight cracks over the horizon. I know society's waking up. I literally know society is waking up. That's depressing. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I've never played either. No, 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 I have played Pillars. Pillars, it's about the same as Pillars. I want to play Divinity Original Sin, but... Yeah. I want to go ahead and get these berries there, because it did say something about them being perishable, so I don't know if that's an in-game thing. I'm not going to test it out. Because speaking of berries, they just whiplashed my berries when I was fucking <laughs> in that So I'll go, ahead and, I'll go ahead and get them there in case they're, they perish. They're perishable. Because I, I just got my ass handed to me by a bunch of bugs. Literally just a bunch of, cre a bunch of bugs on the ground just literally whipped my ass. That's sad. That's very sad, dude. I guess I should have brought the bug spray. About those tasks of yours. Here's the berries. Oh, that was a good experience. What was it you wanted me to do again? What do you use these fang berries for? I don't know. That he uses them. I don't know what he uses them for. Um, show me what you have. Hey, yeah, dude, I'm gonna buy a ton of this shit. No, I'm not gonna buy that much. I will buy about... Ten of them, though, and then I'll sell some of this shit. I guess I could buy some potions as well, but. I really want to make sure that I have a lot of those fucking outcomes fires just in case that shit happens again. I really, really want to be sure I have a lot of them. So there's 20 of those.
I'll put some on my every character. I'll put tons of them on her. And I'll put... Also make sure every character has a potion of healing. It's cure moderate wounds, I'll take that. Two D eight. I guess I'll put a potion of light wounds on her though. That's fine. Light wounds, light wounds. Take off and flipped. I do want to make sure he has some alchemical fire as well. One potion. And a scroll. So we got the berries to him. What are we doing now? Our path leads on. Okay, so if we come across swarms again, I've got literally have 20 potions of alchemical fire that I'll fucking flame their ass with. I am not going through that shit again. There's no fucking way. There's zero chance. If I have to buy 100 of them. There's zero fucking chance that's happening again. Let's go to the ancient tomb, boys. I just go back down here? I wrote 
adventurous call to that. I'm listening. Artusio, we meet again. Let me guess, you're still dawdling. <laughs> Should I make some tea in the meantime? Bake a pie, perhaps? Plant a small garden and harvest some cherries? Perhaps you'd be more comfortable wearing fool's caps and collared trousers. Then at least I'd be able to sell tickets. Come one, come all! Feast your eyes upon the slowest and the most ridiculous buffoons in Golorian! So, Tartuccio, I may serve you. I am no one's slave. We do what we can, but it is no simple feat to find an unknown object in the masked dungeon. Maybe she'll join me. Hold your tongue, gnome. I can hardly tell your twaddle from the buzzing of a fly. Quickly now. If we don't find that artifact soon, someone else might seize it. Someone who's standing over there watching you right now, you fools! Valerie, I would say you and your sword can find greater glory than in service to Tartusio. He summoned you to fight Stagolor's bandits, but now you see for more questionable dealings. I'd like to have her. She's a fighter. You're right. Tartuccio has deceived us. A warrior who bows to a lie. Oh, thank God. There is no glory in this. This is the I one I was wanting. This scoundrel no more. I see my magnificent rival will stop at nothing, even at stealing the servants of his enemy. Let us see if your fools are even more useless than mine. Draw your swords and cover my retreat. Yeah! Swords. Hey, wait for me. Become as dust. We shall overcome. Give 
I'll stick with fodder. Athletics. Persuasion. Athletics and persuasion, that seems good. Weapon does she have? Don't hesitate. Bastard sword, yeah, I'll take that. At second level, a tower shield specialist can use his shield to screen himself from burst spells and effects. Gaining a plus one bonus on reflex saves against him while employing a tower shield. Bonus increases by plus one for every four levels after second. Trolls near. Belt lantern. Oh, that's all like that. It's cute. He's also got a dagger. Longsword plus one. I'll put that on her just in case. Probably never use it on her though. Heavy shield. Nice. If 
for a bow. I'll give everybody a bow instead of a bow. What that shield? Well, I like how it lets you collect stuff that's left behind. Nuts. Sure. How sweet the first breath of fresh air after the stale, damp stuffiness of that tomb. Before us stretched an upending heath, heath replete with hills and gullies and patches of low shrubs. Already the trail of Tartusio and his companions had gone cold. But we should not give up so easily whether the trail went cold or not. It was the one we had to follow. Succeeded nature check. We tried to imagine who or what left those claw marks. No blade of grass was bent. Our eyes to the ground, we followed the trail. We walked and walked until finally we came to a huge gully. Claw prints, lots of them, we stumbled up upon a fresh battlefield. And here the trail split. The brave footprints that faced down their enemies followed the path along its edge. We tried to manage or who or what left those claw marks. That's a really good nature check. We'll take that. And here the trail split. The claw marks were not deep. The attackers were small and lean. Cobalt's okay. Let's try to find any traces of magic. We discovered traces of a spell apparently from the illusion school of magic near where the lonely trail descended into the gully. Carefully studied the trail. This is a huge slope. Mobility, there was one brave hero among us who decided to try his luck and climb the route, sure. Succeeded. After tugging on the route, Lindsay took a deep breath, grabbed it with both hands, and began the difficult ascent. After climbing out of the gully, one by one, we easily found the clawed footprints again and moved forward. The air grew tense. We sensed, we sensed that we were approaching our target and our intuition proved correct. Cool, cool, cool. That's one thing I never expected to see in the middle of the forest, a circus show learning a new trade, Tartusia. You, when will I finally be rid of you? 
Don't listen to him, tribesmen. This liar comes to play tricks on us. You and you hold him back. The rest of you follow me. What the hell happened to Tartusia? You're but a footnote in our story. So he's going there. He's going to assist. We'll put each fighter on, on each one. Let us strike as one. Your life ebbs low. Do not falter. Attack. You deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> What you want? I am yours to command. I'm listening. Mm hmm. Here, I'm listening. the indecisive. I stand ready. Rotus awaits us. Well, don't hesitate. What you want? The end draws near. Together we stand. Patience. We could set up camp here, couldn't we? Maybe later. So Tartuccio is actually a damn cobalt. A rest would be welcome. Okay, that's my bad. 
It's okay, it's okay. We should gather our strength. I definitely need to rest. More strong fates. Another guard manage. So I've got a recipe. Maintain the armor. Okay. Constantly talk about the end of times that we'll all die. Don't you ever just want to have some fun? I have fun when I watch your futile attempts to avoid the inevitable. <laughs> it's truly fun. <sighs> Camp camouflage failed. Hunting took 21 hours, five rations. Excellent hearty meal. Nice. All right. Upwards and onwards. Plus one saving throw bonus. Permanent? save real quick. Hold on. Let me see if I can restore that. Potion of restoration. Done with waiting. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's much better. Yes, I'm still here. Just letting the ink dry. Yes. Yes.
If you find all the fragments, an artisan with enough skill could restore it for you. So how many fragments have I found? The first one? I thought I found another one. Oh, I do have two of them. Also endless dungeons too. She has the best trickery. I love how it automatically uses your person with the best skill. That's nice. Anything else? Applause, please. Very nice. Very nice. Without a doubt. What were we looking for in Thorn Ford? I can't remember. Let's go through here then. Have we missed it? I will guide us. All right, here's a camp. Well, look who's here. A crescent. Is a bandit responsible for collecting taxes for the stag lord, one of the first dwellers of the stolen lands who you met on your arrival. Look for the stag lord. You can tell me everything you know about the stag lord and where he's hiding or you can die. Right. 
ass handed to me. Let us strike as one. At last. You deserved it. Lost. Damn, really? Any last wishes? Pass, B. Okay, there we go. Search the belongings for information or valuables. I failed the perception check. What the hell? The end draws near. Jod Kevkin, praise Arastal, O oh, dead eye, the stag god, when the oldest human god still worshipped in the inner sea region. Someone try to like, finally chase off those scoundrels. Not a chance. The strength granted by me, granted me by Arastal, is meant to help honest people, not robbers. Alright, release him. Now, how did you come to be in these lands, Jehud? They were by vision sent by the, by the elk god. A 
And so somebody said, so, so there's discretion of the temple. And where's the temple? In the Nora Marshes. supplies do I have? Let's learn that. There's the wedding ring. Where are my camping supplies? Oh, Tamar. Need to rest yet again, Donna. I need to rest yet again. I guess. It's just not my lucky day. Bells to pick the lock. Anybody picked a lock? Our time has come. Jaro can't pick locks. <sighs> and Lindsay was called for. Oh, she already failed, so I can't. Oh, that's cool. If you already failed, you can't do it. I am your shield. I guess I could return Svetlana's ring, right? I think we'll camp again, though. We got our ass handed to us. I am yours to command. I respect useful books, but who needs shallow stories? Fables about a knight who slew a dragon won't help you. You meet a dragon in real life. Then they'll write books about me! Lindsay the Dragon Slayer. Or no. More like Lindsay, who was not afraid to challenge a dragon and get heroically eaten in her prime. Sounds good, huh? Sign them properly. Yeah, that's my bad. Just awaits us.
just letting the ink drop. Yes. Yes. the river. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Manage. I'll put her with the cooking, because that seems really important. <sighs> Miss a good fight. I want to hit somebody so hard my fists are itching. Technic League, a group of arcanists and other lore seekers obsessed with unlocking the mysteries of the Silver Mount, an ancient alien artifact that crashed long ago near the Numerian capital city of Starfall. So they're wanting to take one of us as a slave. Tell you what, I'll go straight to the yeah, I'll go straight to the orchard. I'll help hold the swordsman. Stay behind me. Won't kill me. Dude, I'm getting my ass beat. Oh my god, I'm getting fucking we beat. Shall I, survive. I always survive. Protect me! 
Damn, I'm getting my ass beat. Okay, I should have. Okay, I'll start over. I'll start over. Should have got the mage. We shall overcome! I always survive! Become as dust! You have crossed paths with a technical lead. Start plus one. Enemy 
and Lindsay was called forth. Overload. I don't foresee her ever being in close combat, so let's take this off. Inventory's weight is too great. Those aren't very valuable, so we'll just drop all those. Master work is fairly valuable. The insidious henchmen of the ominous Technic League have disappeared into the thick wilderness of the mysterious stolen lands, but not for long. Soon we'd be upon them. First, though, we'd have to pick up their trail. To do that, we try to understand, based on what we've seen, the kind of spell Kalana used to get away and where it could bring her. This is our highest check, so we'll do this. We failed that. Knowledge of the world. Okay, so we've found the camp.
abandoned hut. Guardian of the Bloom. Done with waiting. Some loot down there. Let's continue up here, though. My search was not in vain. Forwards. Your mind is low. Inspiration. That youth began to stagger. I was successful in my search.
And he kicked his ass. I failed. I'm sorry. Anything is possible. She failed again? Damn, I somebody could pick locks in her party. Jeez. I have been waiting for you. The flowers, birds, and wind told me it would come. Oh, my poor flowers. They will perish before long in this fog. Ooh, mysterious talk with nobody. here are infused with toxic pain and fear. They poison this place as we speak. You have seen where your enemy's journey began. The one called Stag Lord was once the victim of a cruel madman, and has since become one himself. You see now how monsters are born. What comes of regret for a thing you cannot change? There is no time to be lost. We must do away with the fog quickly. Do you really wish to know? Fine. I'll tell you a fairy tale. Once upon a time, there lived a young nymph. She lived in an enchanted forest where thousand birds sung day and night, where the sun often left a spark or two hanging in the tree crowns, and where the starlight fell on sleepy glades like a glowing soft haze. Should have had myself a fighter, dude. No, I needed a mage. The young nymph loved simple things. Like sitting by the stream with her friends, braiding each other's hair, and adorning their braids with crystals made of dew, or watching the flowers blooming. But inside her soul, the young nymph dreamed of something more. And a seed that falls in fertile soil cannot sprout without the dream of the sun. The same was true for our nymph. She wished to turn her enchanted forest into a true fairy tale kingdom and fill it with thousands of wonders. Plans so ambitious rarely go unnoticed by greater powers. Those greater powers decided to punish the nymph for her boldness. They sent a horrible monster to poison the enchanted forest and kill the singing birds. The nymph was forced to flee. And finally she found shelter here in the stolen lands. Here she hoped to sprout the seeds of a new dream even as she mourned the dream she'd lost. But then, the magic mist appeared, killing everything that lived. And the nymph cast about, desperately searching for help. So far, these are the fairy tale's final words. But I hope this is not the end. One day, perhaps, perhaps I will tell you more. But it doesn't matter now. We need to concentrate on the problems at our doorstep. The Stag Lord, the Druid, the Mist. Search the area around the hut. 
Try to find anything that remained of the druid who lived here. I am sure the fog is his doing. This suffocating veil is as vicious as his nature. We should learn more about the fog and the ritual through which it was created. Return to me if you find anything. The past <clears throat> may hide the answers that shape the future. I will be waiting. I will guide us. I see something. <clears throat> this requires your attention. You come again. Did you find something? An ancient temple. The temple of the stag god. Yes, yes, that must be it. The place of power where the druid created the fog. Perhaps we'll be able to cleanse it from there. The temple hides in the thicket not far from here. You will need to go there and purge the place of whatever evil still lingers there, summoned by the druid's sinister ritual. Take care. You are my only hope. It's all right. I guess I go this way to hit back over here, right? Uh. says brains aren't important for a lass. And they're right. A woman needs a bicep, that's what. A whack in the face will make anyone respect it. That's right. I have to turn in my, uh, 
turning the ring to her, I guess. There's a feral swan living here in the woods, not a normal wild pig. We're talking about a vicious boar. A big as a bear and wicked as a devil. The locals call him Tusk Gutter. I'm not using the hide on and I'll keep it. sell stuff that I'm not going to use. So I'm selling. Sell those. Yeah, fuck it. Let me load because I think I I think I shouldn't have sold that coin.
Martian, Martian, Martian. Bring her ring back. I found your rings. Trying to keep me done. Maybe I should try to let her live. Probably didn't live much longer than her mother, so I just tried to help her run. I brought her here, stolen lands. Though Oleg was against it, and once here, she immediately fell under the stag lords of food. She never even needed to meet him. The stories and rumors from local hunters and bandits were enough to win her over. these I'll stash these. I'll stash that and I'll see myself using it anytime soon. I'm going to try to sell that stuff to you. Got too much weight. The room is full of a bunch of weaklings. Cooking. These nuts. 
numbers down here. I can sell some of these scrolls, but I'm never going to use them. <clears throat> Snowball's interesting. Should I buy? I don't think I'm ever going to use this dagger, so I'll sell it. those with her. Probably never use that. To have a long range bow. This I'll keep in my stack. <coughs> this I'll keep in my stash, and then this I'll. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, I'll keep it. up on some weight. What's with all the weight? everything. I come overloaded quickly. I still have a lot of strength. My party's kind of kind of weak.
guess I can recruit one more person. <clears throat> I got a little bit of for me. Hmm. Used to cut down the weight, I could stash some of this stuff, right? <clears throat> Still got the sword on me. That's right. Encyclopedia. <clears throat> Doesn't it, doesn't it update if you fight something? Spider Swarm. We're going to end that here, guys. Yeah. But we'll play for just a bit longer. Have a good one.